Well, it's priceless, understand? Congratulations, Mr. Gustav. They're going to fight me for the son of a bitch. Is it very beautiful? Beyond description. Ian, the most gifted bard's rhyme, can only sing but to the lack of her and all she isn't. His tongue... Can I see it? I don't see why not. All right, so uh, I I need to show you this because this is simply the the best the best Pokemon battle I ever had in my entire life. The best. I I don't remember of any other battle that was this good. I like I got a a natural high towards the end. <laughs> it was was incredible. So I'm using a, a hybrid team between uh, Envy's team with Lipard and uh, the BL Knight special Porygon, the boy. And uh, yeah, um, also a power trip a Corviknight because I wanted to make the team more fun, but I realized that power trip isn't very good in this team, like it doesn't really help that much so later I changed it back to Rocky Helmet but in this match it's a um, power trip. Anyway, let's let's start. Oh shit, what the fuck? Jesus. That music. <laughs> that music is very loud. Okay. So the game starts normally. I I uh, I get rid of Kamo really fast. I did Por uh, I let Porygon because I really wanted to click buttons. And uh, yeah, I just... I spam it and completely take care of these two and I was really proud of myself at this point. Like, really proud of myself for this. Now this Umbria is very annoying. Easily the most annoying mon on the opposing team. Gave me quite quite some problems, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, so at this point I just decided to throw away my Excadrill um, with the trade-off of removing the rocks, even though he can get them later on. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to break this Umbreon at this point. Not very successfully, but even so, even so, like, Sloking is so good. Uh, up until this point I haven't used Sloking Galar, but I have to say, after using it a few times, it's so good. It's such a good Pokémon, it's obvious, uh, but I, I discovered how good it is. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm on the, I'm on the Sloking team now. So I set up with this, the only mon that can break Umbreon on my team, but they have Clefable, so I knew it wasn't going to last, so I go into Corviknight. I, I dance around his team, his team dances around m mine, we try to break each other, <laughs> minds, <laughs> each other's minds. And uh, if I, oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't say it. Okay, let, let's not say. It. Let, let's let's not spoil the fun. I try to set up with Corviknight. Um, because I knew that if I if I don't get crits, Corviknight is going to win. Or not? <laughs> because it's unaware. Because it's unaware. Unaware Clef. Now I don't know what kind of damage Clef Fable would have received when after maxing out the power trip, but I think it would have been negligible. Now struggle w um, was my best bet at this point. Just make him struggle with pressure. But Death Corp, man. Very good. Now, um, now I'm trying to realize what 
what is happening here? Why did he did he switch? Maybe he feared the pressure too. Or maybe he hoped for a crit. But yeah, I think he would have been fine just staying in the cliff or, or maybe not actually. No no no, I think I would have BP stalled him. Yeah, and uh, just like he just like he stalled all my HP points there. <laughs> Alright, so I go into this again. Burn Clefable, which is nice. Man, slow king. The same war of attrition happens with Umbreon. I try to break it <laughs> to no avail. I really, 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 really tried to break this Umbreon. But it just didn't work. Like, this Umbreon just couldn't be, couldn't be broken. Uh, couldn't be broken, like... In a, mi in a mind break uh, hentai, this Umbreon just, just wouldn't cut it. It just wouldn't, wouldn't work. This is a fairly long game. We, 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 yeah, we, we, we dance around each other quite a lot, trying to break each other. And I poison an Umbreon, which is very nice. At this point, I realize, hey, yeah, uh, poison Umbreon. That's something that I. I should have aimed, aimed for from the beginning. Huh. Okay. I guess Poison Umbreon really was good. <laughs> and re yes, it was good. But I really wasn't con counting on it that much, which is a bit weird. Keep in mind that roll right there. Keep in mind what, what you just saw. That roll. <laughs> that roll. 97% <laughs> on a crit. Keep in mind that. Just, just, just. Let's let's take a note of that really quick. For future reference. Now I got in the poor guy. I, I, man, I was so fed up with this, and I was so happy. Just so happy to see Umbreon uh, get withered down. But you know what made me even happier? Actually, yeah, the fact that this Boswell just came into to die, basically. Come on, was back, unfortunately, and <laughs> you put on rocks. <laughs> now I have to stay with rocks for the entirety of the game. No, take them out. I was like, no, now I have to stay with rocks. The whole game, <laughs> fortunately. Unfortunately, at, at this point, Umbreon was, hey, was, she was pretty much dead. This Cresselia, it was this one I realized that Umbreon was just uh, the light snack, the aperitif before the the main course. And at this point, I, I just realized I was going to lose. And I made peace with that. I, I wasn't trying to win at this point. I, I mean, I was trying to win, but I wasn't trying very hard. I wasn't at my best. And Pokemon is a game that is so contingent on the extent at which you try. Um, it's incredible. It, it punishes you for the littlest of misplays. Yeah, like... You can see it's it's so apparent when someone tries or not tries or just um, tries a little bit. It's very very apparent. Like there is a, an infinite amount of nuance to be had between trying the hardest and not trying at all, and it shows. It's like the game is like a canvas. It shows on the game how much you try. This is how much this game punishes you. And at this point, I was fed up. I, I really just two attacks I wanted to break his team but he was patient he he wasn't phased at all
I was praying for some luck here. Yeah, so I got pretty lucky in here. Not in that particular turn, but in this turn, I got pretty lucky because uh, they showed me the the yellow, and I got rid of Komomo finally. And I and I was like, no, fuck you, Umbreon. You're not wishing. You're not protecting. You're not doing anything. <laughs> You're just. But then I thought, yeah, like that Cresselia is going to ruin me right now. This little duck. And I charge, very at hand charge. I think he should have attacked there. Again, another very lucky yellow. There was no way, like, I, I tried to to, <laughs> to beat this with kill you. there was no way I was going to do that. And at this point I was just praying for crits, like, give me crits, like, <laughs> Slow King, we need to crit, Porygon, we need to crit, we, we, we have to, we have to, we have to crit, we have to crit, like, I was praying, praying for crits, just... I knew that I had to crit and I crit here, but uh, actually not here. <laughs> and Porygon comes. <laughs> Another hyper beam. Another Another at hand very easy recharge. Very easy recharge. You definitely should have attacked. Let me let me let me see some. So my future side crit. I thought future side couldn't crit. Well, you will soon know what else can crit. And look what happens on turn sixty nine. So if I try to describe to you what I felt in that moment I would most likely fail or it would take me uh, uh, a written bible to, <laughs> to, to to perfectly express what I felt in that moment I was also listening to some pretty good shit and r right when the drop hit right when the drop hit I crit that Cresselia and it was so perfect like up until that point, I was, I, I, I just said, Porygon, you, you have to crit now. You have to crit the Hyper Beam, it's the only way. And I crit the Hyper Beam right when I said it, right on that turn, right when the beat drop. <laughs> and I also got the roll. <laughs> and you might say, you might say, okay, well, that was just uh, some nice little hacks. It happens all the time, but... The, the way that made me feel, I'm telling you, like, if I was jacking off to the best, the best kind of, the best kind of porn on stimulants, I wouldn't have felt like that. I just, I felt happy, man. <laughs> like, I felt really, really happy. And I DM'd this guy and I told him, this is the happiest day of my life. The day in which my poor God. Creed that Cresselia. Uh, that was so good. That was so good. I, w I was laughing so hard. Minutes on end. <laughs> I wish I wish I would have recorded my reaction. Um really like I I'm slurping. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm slurping. Just just seeing this again, it's and a day passed, like this 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 game happened yesterday and the first thing after I woke up I, I have to record this I, I have to show this even though I haven't recorded anything Pokemon until now 
or I should say I haven't uploaded anything Pokemon until now. Let's record this one replay, which just might be the best game I have ever played. Again, it, it might just seem like hacks, but that was way too per like, I don't wish I would have played this game in any other way. And I, I really, really hope, I really hope that I turned off this thing in OBS. Okay, oh, <laughs> like if that music at the beginning would have continued, even though, yeah, I closed it from here too. So yeah, like, I'm drooling. I'm drooling, just, just witnessing this game again. <laughs> Great game, man. Like, I loved it. Anyway, so, this actually made me want to record uh, a showdown live. I I'm, I'm pretty noobish when it comes to Pokemon. This game also happened on the lower ladder, as you can see. As you can see. Uh, it, it's not like I'm a noob noob. I mean, I, I know how to play, but there are people way better than me. So, I don't make... I don't always make the best plays. I I'm I'm like like if I would record showdown lives and stuff like that, except expect me to be a little bit noobish, uh, a little bit stuttery at the beginning, because um, yeah, I'm not really used to this. But yeah, like ah, incredible game. I loved it. I loved it. Such a good, such a good game. Hey, yeah, man. Just take care out there, and we'll see. We'll see each other with the uh, with the uh, <laughs> King's Rock guard jump. Hi, right, bye. If I say you can't be a part of gaming anymore, you just can't be a part of it anymore.